Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, my new son Cash is making noises, so I gotta get ready to uh, get him ready to go to the awards uh, day uh, for my third grader. Um, the Cash is making a lot of noise over there. You probably can hear him over there. Um, but I did get a new editor, so this video is gonna be a little bit different. There he is. It's gonna be a short little clip. And then, we'll, and then I'll show you the new editor. Hopefully you'll know like in this video. I hope you'll like the way it's gonna go. It's just basically clips put together. Um, but I think it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try it today, see what works. And then probably um, tomorrow I'll upload it. Um, this may be a new way of doing my videos. I think it's going to be a little bit better. And I'll be able to get you better content and things like that. And plus, I'll, I'll probably be wearing like a different, some different shirts uh, throughout the day. You'll see clips of my son probably today. I'll probably do a clip with him uh, I eat each day probably. I'll probably do some, something with him. But uh, and you'll probably see my new, new son Cash here in a bit. I'm going to do a short little video of that and splice it in there. Um... But yeah, again, the awards day ceremony, uh, he's getting like one award. I'm probably not going to show anything about that. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him later on. Put a little clip in there. Uh, I think he's getting a reading award. I think that's the only one he's gotten this year. Um, besides that, um, pretty going to be a pretty boring day. So I'll probably talk about a few things. Clip it in there. Uh, some things happen to me. Uh, work late. I probably won't talk about them right now until I get back to work. I'll, I'll start talking about it. I don't want anything to affect my... Uh, you know, thing if I say something about a certain company and then I, I don't get to go back to work or something like that. I don't want to say anything bad. So I'll wait till I get everything and then I'm going to do a video on that. So, uh, but yeah, there's a short little clip here and then we'll move on and I'll show you some other stuff. Catch you guys later and well, till next clip. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? So here's one of the things I do lately since I've been off is do a lot of laundry. So you're in the laundry room right now. Um, so hopefully this kind of gives you a day into what I do since I've been gone, since I haven't been shooting videos, uh, kind of this new way I'm going to be doing videos. I think it's going to be a little bit cooler. I'm going to see what I do, my time off. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to check the laundry real quick. Talking to you, so yeah, these appear to not have been started. See, I have to forget that, I forget to start the laundry. That's probably not very good. We'll go ahead and start that, and I guess we'll just end the video very soon but uh yeah i usually come in here to do laundry and yeah it hasn't even started <laughs> welcome to my life but i forget to start the laundry all the time so there's something loud in there i don't know what it is i don't really care to be quite honest i don't know where the that metal thing go oh it's on the floor I was in the, doing laundry one day, and this loud thing was going on, and I found this piece of metal. I don't know why. I don't know where it came from. My son says he doesn't know where it came from. I think he does. I think he wanted to collect it. But, um, yeah, pretty much. So, a few days ago, I was at doing yard sale shopping, and I ended up picking up a couple shirts. I was going to show you guys in these vlogs, because I did on a reseller. I picked up this shirt, uh, which is kind of a crazy shirt, and it's a Pendleton. Uh, so you guys that don't know about my retro asylum stuff, you can go over there and check it out. I'll tell you all everything about that. Pendleton, uh, and this is a really nice shirt. Uh, this is a Minch. Uh, now I'm not getting heavy in the clothes, but this is kind of like the, something I want to try and get into to make a little bit more money on eBay. Uh, but both of those I bought for five bucks. Hopefully I can get uh, a little bit more money for it, but you'll hear about that later on. Hey Zayden, what's going on? So uh, this is a new thing I'm trying, Zayden. I got to download this app today, and it's going to be able to splice little clips together. So uh, I did tell them at the beginning of the videos, uh, which this will go up tomorrow, uh, he had his awards day today, and he got the award for a reading. Uh, that's pretty cool. He got really good grades this year. Um, he has got a C on one report card, so he's really doing really good. Um, chilling, watch, playing. What game is this? Um, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Oh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Pretty cool. I'm creating a person right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you creating what's going to be the name or something? Is that Thanos? You're going to name her Thanos? No. I'm just trying to. Pantyhose? You're going to name her Pantyhose? Oh. No? Oh, okay.
All right, I just wanted to, uh, Zayden hadn't been on any videos in a while, so I uh, just wanted to put him in here since I'm trying this new thing, and maybe uh, maybe every day we'll have a little Wait, we meet and greet with Zayden. We need to start, I need to start making videos with you guys again. Yes, yes, it'll happen. Back into the video business. Anyways, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this little part, and we'll move on to the next clip. Hey guys, what's going on? So I just found this letter that I got. I'm in Zayden's office. Uh, let's see what kind of thick card I got. So this will be a random card. I don't know what I'm getting. Let's just rip right into it. Now, this is going to be hilarious if it's something else. But I think it's just like a card or something. So we'll see what it is. Oh, there's more than one card. Um, it said one card, I'm pretty sure. So I got uh, more than one card. Unless it's something stupid. Oh, maybe this is not what I got. I, mean, I don't know what I was getting. Oh, this is cool. So I got um, Gorilla Monsoon wrestling card. And I got Don't Touch Corners if you want to look at it. Monsoon. And I got Rich on Homes NBA Hoops. So that's kind of neat. Right. And I got. I did. <laughs> I know I was just in the video. Check. But... Diallo NBA Hoops. I know I was just in the video, but. Okay, <laughs> hey, He's back in my office. I was just in here. <laughs> uh, Michael Kidd. So there's that little card. So that's pretty cool. I didn't expect to get four. Yeah. I went, I went listy. I thought I was gonna get one. So that's cool. This goes my wrestling collection and to sell and stuff. So. When somebody says something, it's, it's, it's either a surprise. Exactly. Sometimes. Yeah. So I just wanted to come on and do that little clip since uh, it's kind of stupid to make a whole video just throughout the envelope. So catch you guys on the next clip. Hey guys, what's going on? So, uh, kind of just to show you what kind of things I might talk about in these uh, videos now. Uh, short little clips and tell you what, guys, what we have for supper. Well, and I'm not probably gonna do this every night because um, there's nobody here right now. They, she took uh, Cash and Zayden, my sons. Uh, my wife took them out to the park, things like that, and she knew I just went on break sometimes away from everybody. So, what we had tonight was Coney Dogs. There's this Coney Dog sauce. Mac and cheese. Uh, there's nothing in the new wave. That's where the tater tots were. And then that's the hot dog water where we had hot dogs. So we had Cody Dog sauce, Cody Dogs tonight. Uh, pretty good. Um, so there you go. I made supper. Uh, my wife's been pregnant, so I'll be making a lot of the supper. Well, she had the baby, I guess. So I've been having, making a lot of the suppers, things like that. And uh, sorry for the messiness, but I did just get done making supper. I got to clean up here in a few. But uh, just want to do this short little clip, and I'll add it into the video. Hey guys, what's going on? Back in the laundry room because I was going to do it earlier and just kind of talk and ramble to you guys. Um, but I'm going to be doing the laundry real quick. Um, it should be all the way dry, I don't think. Can't tell. You always never know when <clears throat> things want to get. I think they're all the way dry. Our dryer's been acting kind of funky lately. I don't know what's going on with it. Seems that um, sometimes it doesn't want to get all the way dry. So we'll see. I'll pull stuff out and figure it out here in a bit. Um, but yeah, pretty much uh, this is what I've been doing. Kind of help my wife out. Uh, I've been doing a lot of laundry. Been doing making supper. Uh, you just seen and just helping out around the house. So there's one load of the dryer. And I mean, yeah. I mean, some people may you may think, oh, you're just sucking up. You're trying to act like you're a good husband. But, you know, last time I'm gonna admit, last time when we had Zayden, I didn't do really do a whole lot, so I feel pretty bad about that. So, um, definitely uh, trying to kind of make up for it this time around. So, uh, there it is. You know, being you know, tips on being a good father is. You know, help help your wife out if you have a wife and you're, you're still with her. And if you don't mess it up, you know, and either way, either you mess it up or she messes it up and doesn't want to have anything to do with you. You know, it's not, you can only do so much on your end if, you know, if, if you're a loving husband and you treat your wife with respect, you know, you shouldn't have any problem, you know, don't be, don't be cheating on your wife. Things like that, you know, you'll, you know, you'll get far. And, you know, it's, it's hard not to argue, but I mean, it's going to happen. You know, you just got to, just got to go with the punches and roll through it. 
and uh, it'll happen. Not gonna start that yet. Um, but I also have to do, I have to wash this thing. Hold on a second. <laughs> so let me introduce you to, uh, let me introduce you to baby life. This is the pad that goes in the baby's, our, our uh, travel bassinet. We basically use it in the living room. It's kind of neat. So if you guys are looking for something that really you don't want to have, if you're not going to be staying in your bedroom, this is kind of a cool thing. That's what we're doing right now. She just kind of stays in the living room. Got this, but you have to put this on, I guess, on a, some kind of mode where it's not. Where it's not um, roughed up, you know, and I guess you can dry it and everything, but I guess you can't put a whole lot of soap in there. But we're going to kind of just put a little bit in here. There we go. This, this should be good. Oh. Right, that should be good. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, like I said, if you want tips on, you know, being a good dad and doing stuff like that, then all I can tell you is, you know, just, you know, do what you want to do, but if you be nice to your wife and you show her that you care about her, it's what's happened this entire time of raising cash here at the beginning is really I've showed her you know, tremendous respect, um, completely. Uh, let me turn on dryer on. Oh, I gotta do this. Hold on. Let me move you guys over here for a second. I gotta grab the lint out of the lint dryer. But uh, yeah, just you, know, you gotta. You know, you're gonna. You're not gonna. If you're looking for a perfect marriage. That's never going to happen. So, if you're looking for that, then you'd be surprised to find that in today's day and age. Um, but what you can do is really get into um, the habit. Just be nice. Be civil. You know, that's all you really got to do. You know, if you're looking to try and... Let's see if I can move over here. If you're looking to kind of, you know, get... You know, you want somebody that's going to, you know, uh, like what you like and, and, you know, like, I don't know how to give an example. I guess a good example is, you know, I like metal music. I like rock music. You know, I like pro wrestling. I wish I could have somebody that, you know, like that. That's what my whole mindset was when I first started looking for a girlfriend. Uh, you know, I was super into, like, goth girls and things like that. That's what I kind of was into. And, you know, then all of a sudden, you know, my perception changed because my whole experience with trying to find a girl that was my dream girl um, just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. So, I guess if you're trying to find somebody like that, good luck. But the best thing you can do is open up your mind. Don't just date anybody that will date you. But also, look for that special person who... Got you guys just click and it, it, it was with me and Jessica was you know she doesn't like like a lot of stuff that I, I, I like but we have our time we're kind of unique in a way where we kind of give each other space and I don't know what kind of marriage really is like this but um, we do have we do have our own time you know we kind of like to break off and ever since you know YouTube came around we both kind of discovered YouTube um, we've been kind of watching whatever we want to watch, hang out in the living room. We're still together. We're just not watching the same things together. And then every once in a while, you know, we'll take a break from that, we'll watch a few little TV, few TV shows that we do like together. And, you know, we sit there and chat and talk about life and our kids and things like that, you know. And I guess it gets to the point to where how do you get to that point? Or how do you find that girl? You know, it's just, you know, biding your time, you know, waiting. You'll, you'll come across her, you know. I, n I never really thought like online dating and things like that. That's why I always thought that I would meet my wife or my girlfriend, you know, for the future. And really, me and uh, her talked on, I think, Yahoo Messenger back in the day uh, a little bit. And then we met up and, you know, uh, met like a couple times. 
And then, you know, basically I was leaving town and we kind of had a chat together and I think she kind of, kind of dropped her emotions, but I dropped my emotions because I thought I was really kind of connecting with her. And she kind of felt disconnected at the time and didn't want to show me any emotion and she left. Um, fast forward, you know, three, four months later, she's coming up to Muncie, Indiana because of, you know, she felt something for me. And, you know, she left her boyfriend at the time. She, she was actually seeing somebody at the time. And I know that doesn't click with anybody. That shouldn't, that should have been a red flag right there. So, you know, things happen for a reason. And I think, you know, that was just the beginning of a lot of bumpy roads that we, us two had. But in the end, here we are with our second child just being born. And I feel like my life is pretty good. We've had some ups and downs, moving, you know, to Kentucky, Tennessee, back to Indiana, uh, where we're from. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy with the way everything has turned out. I wish it would have been a little bit smoother. Um, maybe not have made a couple decisions, but for the most part, everything happens for a reason. And I think we had to go through these stripes in order to get where we were today. And I think the more people understand that, um, you know, and the more you can live your life, you know, you always want to better yourselves. And I just ate, so of course there's something in my mouth right now. And, uh, <laughs> sorry folks. Um, but yeah, and I hope this video isn't boring or anything like that, but I wanted to string these clips together. And this last clip is just kind of, you know, everything. But, uh, I think this is going to be the end of the video. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this little bitty kind of clip journey today, kind of showing you a little bit what I've been doing. I made supper. Uh, you've seen that. Uh, everything like that. i got to clean up here in a second. Uh, but I'm probably going to end the video right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Uh, normal videos coming up soon. But I think this will be a unique way uh, to do a lot of recording. And uh, maybe some different ways to record um, even album reviews and things like that would be kind of neat. Uh, so, there you go. Hope you guys had a heck of a lot of time. Or, <laughs> fun. Oh my god. Messing up at the end of the video. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. And hope you guys comment down below. Let me know what you think about this new kind of format. Uh, I would do for kind of vlogs or days that I want to do stuff like this. Uh, it's not going to be an everyday thing. Because not every day is exciting. Um, but I am getting ready to head back to work in probably a week or so. Um, so, it's a little bit over a week. It's not this coming week, but the week after, yeah. So, I will be returning uh, to work, so the schedule is going to get a little hectic. So, i got to figure out everything. Pretty much in the morning, I think, will be when I will probably record now. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, my son's going to be out of school. Um, and while I was eating tonight, before I end the video, a piece of my tooth broke off. And I've talked about my teeth for a long time. They're... They're horrible, horrible condition. Anybody comments on my teeth in my videos, I'm just like, you're stupid. Because I know, I know, my teeth are horrible. I can't do anything about it. Um, I haven't called anybody because, you know, I don't know how much money it's going to cost. I don't know what's covered under the policy I have. You know, I know it's, it's a big hassle right now. And I should have done it at the beginning. I, I was going to do it, and I haven't did it yet. I need to do it. Um, I just need to call and get it over with. Get a consultation. But the only thing I'm worried about is that I'm going to go in somewhere, they're going to clean it, and then they're going to say, oh, it's going to cost you 10 grand. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, I don't have that. Now you just clean my teeth. Now they're going to hurt until I get it done. So that's what I'm going to worry. Um, so a lot of stress uh, from that. So it continued every day. I worry about that every day. But anyways, it's kind of a depressing video. Not really. Kind of talking about life and things that happen with me. But hey, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this video uh, ready later on. And it's going to go up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, that's all I got to say. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about. Keep rocking. Keep on living, brother.